You know, a fast and efficient way to produce a lot of vertical video content is by taking clips out of your long form horizontal videos. I've produced quite a few YouTube shorts from my regular video uploads, but you can repurpose horizontal videos into vertical videos for other platforms too, like TikTok and Instagram Reels. I turn my long form horizontal videos into vertical videos using a couple of editing tricks in iMovie. Let me show you. All right, here we are in iMovie. This is iMovie version 10.3.8 running on Mac OS 13.5.2. And this is the project browser for the iMovie library where I'm creating vertical videos for YouTube Shorts at the moment. So to create a new vertical video project in iMovie, you do not, I repeat, you do not select Create New Movie. Instead, you select File, New App Preview. And as it says here, app previews are used by developers to showcase their apps in the App Store, but you can also use the app preview format to create vertical video projects. I'll hit OK. And we get a new familiar looking horizontal blank iMovie project. Where's the vertical? Well, to change this project to a vertical video project, the first clip that I place on this timeline needs to be a vertical 9 by 16 aspect clip. You can use an existing vertical video clip to set your project to vertical, maybe something recorded on your smartphone. You can even use a 9 by 16 image. But for maximum control over the resolution and frame rate settings of my iMovie projects, I use dummy clips. A dummy clip is a snippet of video with a set resolution and frame rate that you can use to set up your iMovie projects. You can create a dummy clip literally in seconds using Apple Keynote, the free presentation software that comes with your Mac. I have this dummy clip here in the media browser that I created specifically for vertical video editing. It's 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels high at 24 frames per second. The frame rate matches the frame rate of the horizontal video I'm gonna be repurposing for this demo. I have a post on my community tab that explains how to create a vertical video dummy clip in Keynote, link in the description. I'm going to select my vertical video dummy clip in the media browser, then hit the E key on my keyboard to add the dummy clip as the first clip on the timeline. And there's my dummy clip. Now, if we go over and open up settings, we see my project is now set as an app preview that is 1080 by 1920 vertical. Now that my project is set to vertical, I'm going to add the horizontal video. I actually want to edit to the timeline. And that is this video clip in the media browser right here. Now I'm not gonna use the entire clip, it's an entire upload. YouTube Shorts are limited to 60 seconds or less. So I'm going to quickly select the portion of the video I wanna use by hitting the I key on my keyboard to set an in point at the beginning of the portion I wanna use. Then scrub to the end of the portion of the video I wanna use and hit the O key on my keyboard to set an out point. I'll hit the E key on my keyboard to add the selection to the timeline right after the dummy clip. I'll zoom out of the timeline a little bit so we can see everything. And when I scrub over the newly added horizontal clip on the timeline, I get the little tool tip that tells me this clip is under 60 seconds, excellent. But more importantly, you can see in the viewer over here that my horizontal clip has been fit into a vertical project, which is exactly what I want. All right, I can now select and delete the dummy clip at the beginning of the timeline. And you can see in the viewer that even with the vertical dummy clip gone, the project remains set to vertical. I'll quickly confirm that by going back and opening up settings, still 1080 by 1920 vertical. All right, with all that setup out of the way, we can actually start editing. So here's one of the first problems you're gonna run into when you try to turn horizontal videos into vertical videos in iMovie. In most cases, the framing's gonna be off. You can see I'm off to the side, I'm out of shot here. Don't worry, the trick for fixing this problem is pretty simple. To reframe this shot, I'll go up to the top of the viewer and open the cropping tools. And over here next to style, crop to fill is selected. And the part of the clip filling the frame right now is inside this white bounding box. So to center the subject in the frame, I'll just select and drag the crop to fill box over until I'm happy with the framing. 
then hit the blue check mark up on the corner here to apply my change. And when I play back, we see the framing is better. But hold on, what about this shot? The framing is off again. So to fix this, I'm gonna to scrub to the first frame of this out of frame shot here, then hit Command B on my keyboard to split the clip at that point. Then I'll scrub to the frame just after the end of the shot. So basically the beginning of the next shot. And then I'll hit Command B again to split the clip at that point. So now the out of frame shot, the one I wanna fix is now separated from the rest of the clip. So I'll make sure it's selected, then go back up and select the cropping tools, making sure I'm in crop to fill. I'll click and drag the cropping box to reframe the shot. Then hit the blue check mark to apply the new crop. And if we play back, we see the framing is fixed. And you would go through the rest of your horizontal video on the timeline, fixing any other out of frame shots using the same method. All right, this next iMovie vertical video editing trick is really handy if you're trying to repurpose a horizontal video where the subject is moving across the frame. Let me show you what I mean. I have this vertical video editing project already set up here in iMovie. And over here in the media browser, I have a stock horizontal video clip that I want to repurpose into a vertical video. If I scrub through this video, you see the subject is sitting at a desk. After a moment, they lean back, moving across the frame into a chair. I'm gonna show you why this is a problem. I'm gonna select a portion of this clip and add it to the timeline of my vertical video project. I'll play back and you can see right off the bat, the framing is off. And then as we play through, the subject leans right out of the vertical video frame. Yikes. Well, let's fix the initial framing issue first. And we do that by using the reframing method I showed you earlier. So I'll select the clip, then go up and select the cropping tools, making sure I'm in crop to fill. I'll click and drag the cropping box to reframe the shot. Then hit the blue check mark to apply the crop. And the starting framing looks good. But what about the lean out of frame? How do we fix that? Well, I'm gonna fix it using iMovie's Ken Burns effect. So the first thing I'm gonna do is scrub through the clip until I find the moment when the subject starts to lean back into the chair, just when they start that movement. And right about there, looks good. I'll hit Command B to split the clip at that point. Then I'll scrub forward to where the subject lands in the chair and stops moving, just when they stop. There should be good. I'll hit Command B again to split the clip at that point. So now I have the part of the clip that contains that lateral movement separated. So I'm gonna make sure the portion of that clip containing the lateral movement is selected. Then I'll go back up and select the cropping tools and you can see we're still set to crop to fill. I'm going to change the crop settings to Ken Burns. And now we have two cropping boxes, one showing the start framing of the Ken Burns effect and a box showing the end framing of the Ken Burns effect. Now notice the start cropping box is actually identical to the crop to fill box. That'll become handy in a moment. All right, I'll leave the start cropping box alone. I don't wanna to touch it because I want a seamless cut between this Ken Burns clip and the clip before it. All right, I'm gonna click on the end cropping box to activate it. And when I do that, the playhead jumps to the end frame of the clip so that I can frame up the end of the Ken Burns move. I'm gonna click and drag on the end frame until it's framing the subject. I'm also gonna click and drag on the corner handles of the cropping box to crop in just a little bit on the subject. That's good. I'll click on the blue check mark to apply my changes, then play back the edit. The Ken Burns effect keeps the subject in frame as they lean back into the chair, pans with them. 
until the next clip where the subject is again out of frame. That's not going to work. Not a problem. Here's how we fix that. Watch carefully. I'm going to select the clip with the Ken Burns effect, then hit Command C on my keyboard to copy the clip. Then I'll select the clip right after the Ken Burns clip, this clip right here. Head up to iMovie's top menu and select Edit, Paste Adjustments, Crop. So when I copy the Ken Burns clip, iMovie copied the clip and all of the clip's settings or adjustments. So when I select Edit, Paste Adjustments, I can choose what settings or adjustments I want to paste over to the selected clip, really handy. In this case, I'm pasting over the crop adjustments, which include the Ken Burns effect. All right, I'm gonna play back, and we see the Ken Burns effect has been applied to this clip. But we're still not there yet. It's just kind of playing over. It's repeating the same uh, sequence as it did in the previous clip. One more step to fix this. Making sure the clip is selected, I'll go back up to the cropping tools and we see Ken Burns is applied. I'm gonna go over to the right and click on this button with the chasing arrows. This will swap the start and end cropping boxes. Then I'll go back over to the style settings and change it from Ken Burns to crop to fill. Crop to fill uses the start area of the Ken Burns effect to do its crop. I'll hit the blue check mark to apply the changes. Let's play back the project from the beginning. So we're framed on the subject. We track them back to the chair using Ken Burns. And then we seamlessly cut out of the Ken Burns clip to the crop to fill clip to stay on the subject in frame. That's why that whole thing I mentioned about the start frame of the Ken Burns effect matching the crop to fill frame was so important. So we get a nice seamless cut. I know that whole procedure I just showed you is easier seen than said, but once you do it a couple of times, it becomes second nature. And if you wanna know more about how to edit vertical videos using iMovie, have a look at this video on my channel.